What's up, Columbus? I'm food scientist Matt Teagarden here with 614 TV, exploring the best food and drinks our city has to offer. So bring your appetite and your adventurous spirit and join me for 614 TV's Tasting Columbus. All right, guys, can we get an OH? OH! 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 It was the Ohio State University that brought together three Cleveland natives and one Floridian here in Columbus. First as friends, now as business partners, opening up the Pip Barbecue in 2016. Now at two locations, one on High Street and one on Parsons Avenue, this newly opened Clintonville hotspot is dishing out the down-home goods. Today, we get to explore the family-inspired recipes that make this backyard barbecue joint so popular. From kale-inspired slaw to the Polish boy sausage, it's going to be delicious. I'm food scientist Matt Teagarden, and this is Tasting Columbus. The wings to me are finger licking good. They are seasoned just right, extra crispy the way I like them. I love it all. I am here with pit master DeAndre Martin here at the pit in Clintonville. Thanks so much for having us out today. Uh, thanks for coming out, we appreciate it. <laughs> Three Cleveland natives, one Floridian, meet at OSU and start a barbecue business. How did this all happen? We've been friends for about 15 plus years. We always wanted to do a business together. Barbecue was one thing we all had in common. The pit was born. Your first location was on Parsons Avenue in 2016 and now you're in Clintonville. Why the move up here? Clintonville has always been a big support with us. We had to come here and open up a location. Give the people what they want. I hear a rumor that a lot of the recipes here are actually linked to family recipes. Tell me a little bit about that. All the recipes. So all of our sides are named after our family members. Um, we went to each of our parents' house, grandparents' house, and we had them make all the dishes. We picked the best ones. We wanted to make sure we had our family incorporated into the restaurant. Well, am I going to learn some of those family recipes today? I can teach you a little bit. I'm not going to teach you a lot. <laughs> First up is the pit bull with brisket. Yes, Walk me through it. Take a brioche bun, we toast it. Uh, once we toast it and it gets uh, really golden brown, put it at the bottom of our bowl. Brisket takes about 12 to 14 hours to smoke. That's it? Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> we put our brisket in a bowl on top of the bun. Then we get a scoop of our Mildred's mac and cheese. Top it off with some of our pit slaw, which is made with kale. Different type of slaw, so it's a little twist on that. We top it off with our pit signature sauce, barbecue sauce. Kale instead of cabbage. Why'd you switch it up? We wanted to be different. A lot of people don't like kale until they taste our slaw. With our twist, we put kale, broccoli, Brussels sprouts all in our slaw and we mix it with our signature sauce. You're a little bit of a purist with your sauce. You only have one option that you got from Cleveland. We grew up on all of our barbecue restaurants in Cleveland only have one sauce. We perfected our sauce. It's to die for and we love it. All right, DeAndre, I'm going to dig in. It can be really easy to screw up brisket. <laughs> this is good stuff. That low and slow process you use is just the perfect way to cook this cut of meat. It lets all the muscle fibers break down, the collagen breaks down, keeps it nice and moist. And I like that you include some vegetables in yes, here. You know, yes, keep it light, absolutely. keep it light. I'm in heaven. There's a reason why you only need that one sauce, because <laughs> that is good. <laughs> Time to eat some of those fries, right? Time to get some pit fries. Let's do it. <laughs> we use fresh cut fries. We blanch them first for about two to three minutes, and then we finish them off for five minutes. Now, why do you blanch them? It gives them that, that nice crisp feel and not so soft. Put a little bit of our seasoning on it and put the fries in the bowl, top it with cheese. Pick your meat. Today we're going to do pulled pork, which also is another meat that takes about 12 to 14 hours. And then we top it with our pit sauce. I feel like I'm going to sleep well tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even lift it. First, I'm going to get a little bit of fry. That blanching that you do, that also pays off. That's crispness that stays, too, yes, which is yes. really nice. Yeah, I love all the attention to detail you guys do. That pulled pork smoked perfectly. I don't know about you, but I think the perfect thing after something like this is a Polish boy sausage, one of your most famous dishes, right? Yeah, we won uh, USA Today, number one in Ohio. Coming up, the specially made Polish boy. Stay tuned. I created my waffles around my son and my family's needs, but they had to be delicious. And I didn't stop changing my recipe until I had perfected it. I want people to feel really good about what they're eating when they enjoy a Lopez Point waffle. Love breakfast again with Lopez Point waffles. I'm really big on the chicken. The barbecue sauce with the chicken, the way the chicken just falls off. Oh my gosh, it's so good. The best food in town, hands down. Let's top off this protein-packed meal with the Polish boy sausage. Talk me through that one. Polish boy is a Cleveland original thing. That was the first thing that was on our menu. 
you. So we knew we was gonna have to have a Polish boy here. Take a bun, we get our Polish sausage made here locally at Fortress Meats. They specifically make it for us, no one else can get Special it. Special for you. Special for us. We deep fry our Polish sausage, all beef. Once it comes up, we put it on a bun, and then we top it again with the fresh cut fries, and then we top it again with our pit slaw, drizzle our barbecue sauce on top of it. Now I know that you're not supposed to like see how the sausage is made, but I kind of want to know how the sausage is made. What's in it? There's some spices. We wanted to make sure that it was all beef. A lot of sausages are like beef will have pork casing. We wanted to make sure it was all beef, so it was a little bit more extensive of a process to get it right, but they did it for us. Beef and spices, that's all beef I got. Beef and spices, that's all you're going to get. <laughs> well, let's get into it. <laughs> all right, I'm going in for this Polish boy. Is it going to be good? Yeah! <laughs> but I, how do I eat it? How do I eat it? <laughs> don't don't eat it. it. I love that it's specially made for you. I love that pop that you get when you bite into that sausage. I love the texture of that pit slaw on top. And of course, the pit sauce and those fries. It's like everything I love about this place in one sandwich. <laughs> the sausage is locally made and specially, but you deep fry it. Why do you do that? That's a Cleveland thing. It's like I said, it's something we grew up on. See, I grew up in Cincinnati. I wish I kind of grew up in this. <laughs> John Drape, thank you so much for having us out today. I feel like I was at my buddy's place having a barbecue. Thanks for making Peel at home. No problem. Thanks for coming out. We appreciate you coming. Don't worry. We'll be back with more to explore. Join us next month on Tasting Columbus. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop these in the fryer. You wanna put them in the fryer? You want me to actually what? Drop them in? You want them to like actually drop them in, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, because I didn't know if you needed like another shot of me dropping it or what. Yeah. Time to head to the Sunday bar to finish building our tower. Let's go. And we're here. <laughs> so